tasting like a boss outside edition night edition in my pajamas edition and uh for a grown man i wear pajamas like a child i have my uh the the feelings of nick cage shirt on i have my rick and morty pants on and i have my uh, bob's burger socks on so uh yeah, if, uh, if, I, if I was arrested right now, uh, they would probably just throw me in the loony bin. Anyway, today, tonight, actually not today, tonight, we are reviewing Macamaniac. This is a macadamia nut and um, a coconut flavor by the Bones Coffee Company. And this is a coffee three-way. So we do have it in the cold brew. This time brewed in the refrigerator for, I believe it's uh, 18 hours. So should be fine with that. We have it in drip. Make today awesome, make tonight awesome. And we've got it in the espresso. I will tell you scent wise, it smells great. Uh, I can smell the coconut. I can smell the macadamia nut. It smells good. And when we brewed it, I can tell you the, the house smelled heavenly. So with that being said, let's go right to the cold brew. Tasting like a boss. Man, we're hitting some good ones. I think earlier today we did the uh, pecan flavored by Mass Store. This is also really good. I can taste the the, the creaminess of the uh, macadamia nut. The coconut's there too. Um, I, I don't like coconut by itself. Like I can't eat cakes that have coconut because of the texture, but the flavor, it's, the flavor of coconut, I like. Uh, there was that Santa's White Christmas, uh, which I think is done by Barney's, which I know is popular, but I find with that one, the white chocolate or the chocolate aspects kind of get in the way of the appreciating the coconut here. And there's none of that. There's just the coffee, the creamy macadamia nut, and the and the uh, coconut. So the, it's a winner. It is a thumbs up on the cold brew on the macamaniac. Uh, let's go to the drip. See, there you go. Oftentimes, I'll say when you do when I go from the cold brew to the drip, that you lose the flavor. No, it changes here. The flavor is still really good. It's different, but it's good. It's very comforting. The warmth, the smell off of it is, is, is heavenly. Again, this is without any cream or any sugar or anything like that. Yeah, that's, that's a big thumbs up on the drip. So let's get to the espresso. Tasting like a boss. Let's do it. No, don't do it with the espresso. Um, the, the flavors get burned out. So you're not really tasting any of the flavors at all. And it has not the worst sour in notes, but it has sour in notes that are higher than need to be for an espresso. So it's, it, it's sort of just like a regular espresso with too many high sour notes at the end. So espresso, you're not going to make this for espresso. I wouldn't do it. Drip, thumbs up. Cold brew, thumbs up. And let, I'm gonna look at the label one more time because I realized I got it wrong. I, for whatever reason, I thought it was actually an image of Hunter S. Thompson uh, uh, driving away from a volcano. But as I look at it now, uh, I don't think that's the case. I thought I saw the long cigarette and everything, but there, it's not. It's just a skeleton and lay driving away, sipping out of a coconut as a volcano erupts. So. Another big winner, as far as I'm concerned, from uh, CERN from Bones Coffee on the cold brew and the regular drip. Uh, thank you for uh, following me on this flavor journey. Smash subscribe, hit like, hit the announcements. Let's boost it up and uh, have a great week ahead. So keep tasting like a boss.